just one last one because it kind of covers what people were asking, and it's kind of a broad one, and it was for all. Do you consider the Islamic slash Sharia law, the homosexual, and the atheist agenda as threats to our freedoms of speech and religion? And the person went on to cite a recent law proposed in California where they that had to do with not being able to have counseling for young people about homosexuality or whatever. But do you have thoughts on these kinds of things as threats to our freedoms of speech and religion? Uh, free speech and religion, I'm not sure that I would consider them threats to that. Uh, they may be threats to other aspects of our society, but I, I mean, I don't think that people with particular points of view necessarily can limit someone else's speech or uh, religion without the government getting involved in some way. Well, that comes at it from different angles, but I, I, I follow religious liberty cases. Uh, I know a lot of you are familiar with the Liberty Institute, and they are constantly fighting infringements of, of, of free speech and religious expression. In our country, the courts seem so often to protect um, uh, the uh, establishment part of it, where they don't want to force, uh, the government isn't forcing a religion, but on the other side, the free exercise gets ignored. And um, I think we have a tremendous problem with the, the interpretation by the courts. They leave that part off, and they tend to let these um, Oftentimes you'll see it's atheists that are following his lawsuits and, and they try to infringe upon the free exercise of religion by students and by people in this country, which I think is unconstitutional and, and it ignores the other half of the, the Constitution. Yeah, this is a, a, a real interesting question to get one minute <laughs> to talk. We could do a, a panel on this uh, because there's so many different facets of, of this. And I, I don't think, think that they're existential threats I, I do think that if you know people try to move forward with them in our communities and try to force others to live by them, yeah, that's definitely a problem. So we've got to work past that. But let me give you one that's that it might be a little bit more near and dear to your heart. In San Francisco, for example, they've actually banned circumcision, oh. right? And because they say, well, it, it, it's not you're within your religious rights to be able to do that because this is the the, the, the child does not have you know it, it is is protected from as something that, that is a religious institution. Uh, in, I grew up in, in New York and the uh, Jewish uh, courts allow for their own system of divorce, as do Catholics. So they, they can coexist in certain aspects of it. The question is, is that when they want to it, it, uh, it put it on the rest of us, that's where it becomes a major problem. Um, but I don't think it's an existentialist threat, but it's certainly something to, to watch out for. We want to, want to keep our laws in place first. Thank you, Ed, and thank everybody for their questions. And thanks to all the candidates, including you, Tynesy. Remember, Tynesy was first up, and we have, of course, Ed, uh, Ken, and Jack. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.